our top story this morning. Apple sold 47.5 million iPhones in the most recent quarter. Missing expectations to stop getting hit today. Take a look. Uh, the stock is down about 7%. Also hurting investor sentiment this morning on Apple. No Apple Watch sales numbers. All the company would say was sales exceeded internal expectations since the April launch. Another problem when the stock opens for trading today, the company's forecast for the next quarter came in below expectations. Joining me right now is S&P Capital IQ Technology Analyst, Angelo Zeno. Angelo, good to have you on the program today. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You have a hold on Apple. Were you surprised by the numbers? We were not surprised by the numbers. However, uh, you know, it, it, I think overall the numbers came in fairly well. Uh, top line, uh, about $49.6 billion. We were actually looking at about $50 billion, so slightly below our expectation. However, the earnings front came in fairly okay at $1.85. We're looking at $1.84. So would you, would you recommend to clients put new money to work in this stock today? No, we wouldn't. Uh, you know, we, we see significant risks on the horizon as we head into that uh, December quarter uh, where growth really starts to decelerate. We're looking at, you know, more along the lines of low single digit growth where you're seeing growth now, you know, north of 30 percent. So significant deceleration. John Spallanzani, what are you seeing on Apple? Uh, last night it went down to about 121 and change. Right now it's about 123, 124. I think there's good support at 120. A lot of guys, uh, again, were playing that 130 strike uh, in the options land. So I think if it goes below 120, guys are going to have to start hedging pretty seriously, probably get it moved down to 110. But I think right now, you know, we're in that range. After it got in, uh, included in the Dow, right, we've been kind of like really pegged uh, in this 120, 130 range. So uh, I think unless we get really poor numbers, uh, what do you think about back to school sales, that kind of thing? Uh, you know, this is kind of a slow time for Apple. They usually ramp up as we start to see people get phones for their kids, going back to school, et cetera. So. Yeah, I, I, think that, I think the big question now really kind of turns into what does the fall lineup look like going into that holiday season? And, you know, we're really, we're really cautious on that because there's not much, you know, in our view that's going to come out here, you know, whether it be a larger screen iPad, whether it be, you know, an, an iPhone, you know, 6S that really doesn't have much, you know, embedded with it. Um, so overall, I, I think, you know, get, going into this holiday season, there's a lot to be concerned about. I right. think as you kind of start moving forward into calendar year 2016, you see some catalyst on the horizon, and that's why we see some softness here in, in the immediate We were talking about this in the break. The problem is Apple needs to diversify its products. You mentioned a different iPad. iPad sales have been sinking. People are turning their backs on this tablet and others. You didn't get enough information yeah, about the, the watch. watch. Since they launched it in April, the stock hasn't budged since then, and they said paltry little, and if you broke out those numbers, even the numbers in the other category, were not strong, as strong as people were expecting. I mean, but the stock is soft. You go back to a week ago Thursday when the markets were making lows. It went down to 119. We hit a big rally, almost got to new highs, and now we're selling off. The yeah. market expected a six to seven point move, exactly what we got. Now, if we break below, I mean, I think Apple's going to 105. I think it's a great company, but I think it's going back to 105 before you want to look to put some new money here. I don't see a great deal here. The watch is, I think, going to be a bigger albatross mm -hmm. than they ever thought about it. I think that that's going to be a bigger problem. I think what you make what? a good point because the expectations well, are up here, right? I don't I mean, really the stock care has about the watch. A, but the stock has been a phenomenal performer. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's just like there's, no, there's nowhere to go but down. I mean, but once you get into an index like the Dow, it really takes a you know big news to move extremely right. away from that's what I'm saying, right? the big strikes. But what do you think about the China sales? I, I think that's, you know, if you listen to the call last night, he was very positive in terms of, you know, worldwide metrics, right? Even EM, he was very positive on, on the metrics that he had there. So I think, that, you know, what do you think about yeah. China? Is, I mean, that's that the, China the growth is, story China now? China. China. Yeah. yeah, so if you actually look at Apple, more than half of their growth right now is coming from China. So China is going to be key. Uh, when we look at China here, Revenue more than doubled within China year over year, however, fell more than 20 percent on a sequential basis. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you actually look at the, you know, at, look at, at iPhone sales here, we saw, um, you know, shipments came in much less than we expected. We were actually looking for north of 50 million. However, the ASPs actually inched up quarter over yeah. quarter, and that's a big plus. Um, and I think that's primarily coming out of China, where yeah. the consumers are really shifting towards those, you know, bigger screen devices. So really, that tick up in the ASPs is really, really what saved the quarter here. Yeah. All right, we will, we will leave it there. Angelo, good to have you on the show today. Thanks, Thanks so much, Angelo Zeno, joining us there. Meanwhile, President.